Number 10. The Blue Parrotfish. Although it's not a super common color in the animal kingdom, blue-colored animals are not unheard of. There are creatures that are mostly blue, like a blue jay and others that just feature the color blue, like the blue-ringed octopus. The blue parrotfish, on the other hand, is completely 100% blue as the Caribbean waters it is found in. And you might think, okay, yeah, blue fish, whatever, who cares? But this fish can grow to be really big compared to other guppies you might expect to see around coral reefs with some recorded measurements being in excess of a meter long. Plus, this is one of the few animals that is relatively unthreatened by human activity because of its large and protected habitat in the Caribbean and East Coast. So as long as you can spot them through their camouflage, you can bask in its great blue glory. Number nine, Lowland Streak Tenrec. Madagascar is a strange place full of even stranger animals due to its long isolation from mainland Africa. Everyone knows what a lemur is, but have you heard of the Lowland Street Tenrac? Much like the lemur, the Lowland Street Tenrac only lives on Madagascar, and from what we can tell, it is a much lesser known species. Similar to a hedgehog, the Tenrac is covered in spines, but unlike hedgehogs, its coloring isn't gray, and instead features a pattern of black and yellow streaks. It's even special among other Tenracs, as it is active during both the night and day, and it can live in burrows with up to 20 family members. Despite its somewhat cute and harmless appearance, when threatened by other animals, it will bravely point its spines forward and charge recklessly towards its attacker, aiming for soft and sensitive bits like the eyes and nose. Number eight. Dumbo octopus. This is probably the cutest octopus that you've never ever heard of. With its tiny snout, big ears, little body, and short tentacles, it bears a strong resemblance to everyone's favorite animated elephant, Dumbo. Despite its wide range of habitats across the Pacific, this octopus is quite rare and difficult to find, as this little fellow can descend deeper than any other octopus as far as 7,000 meters or 23,000 feet down. And if this octopus wasn't enough like Dumbo as it is, it propels itself through the water by flapping its ears, like fins, flying through the ocean. Number seven, the Glaucus Atlanticus. Slugs are pretty gross like 99% of the time. Nobody wants to hold or look at a slug apart from the dirtiest of children, but chances are you would stare at a Glaucus atlanticus for ages before realizing that it too is a slug. This tiny little sea slug at only three centimeters in length is colored in shades of brilliant blue and white on top to blend in with the water, and is silver on the bottom to blend in with the sunlight on the ocean's surface. The Glaucus atlanticus possesses a series of six dragon or angel-like wings, and it kind of looks like a dragon when seen from above with its wings stretched out. As such, the Glaucus atlanticus, which by the way is by far the best scientific name we have for a creature, also goes by a few more common names, like the sea swallow, blue angel, and blue dragon. And while it won't hoard gold, this little fellow will hoard deadly venom stolen from other venomous sea animals, which are its main source of food. This venom is stored in the ends of its wings, meaning that it's probably best to admire from afar. Number six, Atreto Chowana Iselti. Brazilian architects working on dams in the Amazon rainforest found something very strange, and it isn't something that you would want brushing up against your legs while swimming. Despite not being a snake at all, it most commonly goes by names like the floppy snake, the manaconda, and lastly, the uh, penis snake. Its rather brazen names are due to the fact, frankly, it looks like a giant human wiener. You probably haven't heard of this anatomical legless amphibian because, well, it was first discovered by explorers in the 1800s. It was only rediscovered in 2011. As previously mentioned, it has several strange characteristics. It has no lungs and instead breathes more directly through its skin like a fish, despite lacking gills. In fact, despite a fair bit of research into the creature's anatomy, biologists still aren't quite sure how this thing even breathes. Additionally, like a snake or a worm, it has no legs instead featuring rings all the way down its body length, similar to a worm. All these confusing characteristics earn the Atreta Chowana Iselti the title of largest, lungless tetrapod. Number five. 
Cantor's Giant Softshell Turtle. When you think of a turtle, the first thing that comes into mind is its hard, patterned shell. So what in the world is this turtle doing? The giant softshell turtle saw all of its typical hard-shelled brethren and decided it wanted to do something different. At first, it's hard to tell that this is even a turtle until you realize it is simply one without its shell. Cantor's giant softshell turtles are rumored to grow to sizes in excess of 5 feet long, but there's no actual evidence of that. And measurements based off living specimens place them at a much more modest 2.5 to 3 feet in size. Still, very little is known about this turtle. What we do know is that it lives in slow-moving Southeast Asian rivers and that it is endangered and more and more difficult to find year by year. Maybe its decision to go without the shell had some unforeseen uh, repercussions, like the inability to protect itself properly from attackers. Number four, the Saiga Antelope. Looking like something straight out of the movie Ice Age, the Saiga Antelope possesses a face that looks remarkably prehistoric with long and massive downward facing nostrils. You probably haven't seen these antelopes before, because they only exist deep in the steppes of Eurasia, where their strange facial features actually come in handy. Cooling air they breathe in during the hot continental summer, and warming it during the harsh winter. If you are wondering how a creature like this has survived for so long, nobody's really sure, but we do know that may not be for much longer. Currently, the Saiga antelope is a critically endangered species, mostly due to poaching for their horns and a very harsh strain of goat flu. Number 3. The Sarcastic Fringe Head For the most part, the fish known as the Sarcastic Fringe Head is a pretty normal, kind of ugly Pacific fish. It has a very peculiar method of mating. In the animal kingdom, it's not uncommon to see males fight each other to prove dominance and to earn the right to mate, while lions and similar animals will partake in a rather violent fight to the death. Sarcastic fringe-head males will open their mouths as wide as they can go and kiss. It appears that they do this to size up the other's mouth, and whoever has the largest mouth is the victor. While that sounds kind of cute, when these things open their mouths, they turn into horrifying vampire fish from hell gone mad. These fish are also extremely territorial and attack anything that comes near them, despite the fact that they don't get very large. You can't really see well when their mouths are open, since, you know, it covers most of their field of vision. Still, probably best to leave them alone. Number 2. The Hummingbird Hawk Moth. Despite being named after three animals, the real identity of this creature is that of a moth, albeit a very large and strange one. As a caterpillar, the hummingbird hawk moth is pretty normal, but after a brief period of at least 20 days, the caterpillar undergoes the transformation we know oh so well, to put on its best miniature hummingbird impersonation. It has similar wings to hummingbirds, which beat at a fast and audible rate. And while a hummingbird has a long beak to drink from flowers, the hummingbird hawk moth has a long proboscis, allowing it to search deeper into flowers than other insects. As there are no hummingbirds across the old world, where the hummingbird hawk moth makes its home, it is unrivaled in this technique. Another interesting thing to note, it is one of the few moth species that go out during both the day and night, and its fast beating wings even allow it to fly in the rain. Number 1. The maned wolf. Some animals out there are difficult to classify. Ask a biologist if a hyena, for example, is a cat or a dog, and they might just give you the evil eye before telling you that genetically they are closer to cats, even though they look like dogs. Similarly, the seemingly misnamed South American maned wolf is called a wolf, has the aesthetic look of a big fox, the legs of a deer, and it does not, as its name would suggest, have an impressive mane like that of a lion. Lastly, as if this animal wasn't strange enough, it isn't even a wolf, nor a fox, nor a canine. The maned wolf is actually a complete genetic loner, being the only creature in its special genus of Chrysochion. The most promising theory on why this animal is such a loner is that the rest of the South American Chrysochion it was related to died in an extinction event 11 to 25,000 years ago. Like the video, comment down below what you thought, 
and of course, subscribe to the channel.